Hey besties, welcome or welcome back. Today we are going to take some glassware and make some awesome DIY crafts. For this glass DIY craft, I've got a little jar that had some jelly in it. I've got a scarf from Dollar Tree and some fabric scraps that I just have in my stash. Now I took off the sticker by soaking in water and then scraping it off. That seems to be the easiest. I didn't need to get the sticky stuff off because I'm going to be covering it anyway. So I'm going to take the scrap fabric and cut, make a little cut because I want it to be thinner and I'm just going to rip it. I love the ripped edges. So I'll do that with all those pieces. Then I will take the Dollar Tree scarf and it had kind of fall colors so that's why I used it and I'm just going to measure how much I need to cover the whole jar and I'm going to cut that and then I'll also cut off the excess along the bottom. Now these scarves are really thin, so this is going to work so well for this project. I'm going to make a little candle holder. I'm going to take some Mod Podge, and I'm just going to put it like a row of Mod Podge, if you will, on the jar and start attaching the scarf. It's such thin fabric that you just kind of press it down, and then once I get it all on, I'm going to put Mod Podge all over the top of it, and those little pieces on the bottom, I'm going to trim it down even further, and then I will use the Mod Podge to kind of press it down to the bottom. I'm not too worried about the edges there. I just want to make them lay down as much as possible. Now that's how it looks once that is Mod Podged onto the glass. Next, I'm gonna take, there's two different colors of that scrap fabric. I'm gonna put the darker one up at the way top and I cut a piece that fit around the jar. I'm just gonna tie a double knot and leave it there, just like that. And then I'll take the lighter one and put it just below it. And then I'll go to the bottom and put the darkest one at the very bottom and the one that's lighter just above it. And you will see what that looks like here in just a moment. This is such an easy craft, oh my gosh. And you could just do it with stuff you have around the house too, which is great. It's, it's almost a trash to treasure, not quite. Once I have them all on there, I don't want it covering up that scarf. So I'm gonna slide down from the lighter color and then up from the lighter color that I have at the top. And I'm just, just gonna create this little like border along the bottom and the top of the jar. Next, I'm going to trim off those little tails on the knots. They don't need to be quite that long. I just wanted to have a little bit of a rag kind of look with those edges being, you know, roughed up from ripping it. So there it is. And literally, I'll just add a candle and that's it. It is so cute. Super easy. You could do this for any time of the year. This one's kind of fall-like and I hope you like it. this glass DIY, I'm going to take the salt and pepper shaker set that I got at Family Dollar for a dollar. And then I've got some twine. I've got my Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint. And then I have my maize and pumpkin chalk paint from Waverly. I'm going to take off the lids to the salt and pepper shaker. We won't need them for this. And I'm going to paint a, like kind of a third of the little bottom part of the pepper salt shaker with the maize. And I'll do several coats of that till it looks nice. Then I'll take the pumpkin and I'll do like a middle layer. If you can't tell, I'm making these look like little candy corns. And I just think this is so cute. And again, super, super easy. It does take several coats to get it to the way I like it. Plus, sometimes I get a little too heavy handed and then I need to cover up the original color just to make them look a little more even. And then I'll take that chalk paint, the white, and I'll just do from just above the orange all the way up to the very top of the little salt and pepper shaker. wanted crisp lines you could just tape it off. I decided I kind of like the idea of it kind of blending upwards. Now I'm going to take some Mod Podge and I'm going to cover the whole thing because I don't want it to peel. Paint on glass can peel very easily so that's why I did that. I'm going to take some twine and just cut enough to make a little bow around the top of each. So easy and that's all I'm going to do is literally tie a little shoestring bow around each of the tops. I do add a little dab of hot glue in the back so the string doesn't move around while I'm trying to tie it. Sometimes with these little things it's so hard to keep them in place so that's why I like to add just that teeny tiny bit of the hot glue. 
I think this would be so cute. You could actually make these for different seasons too. I have made a spring one before with salt and pepper shakers and now this is a fall. So who knows, eventually maybe I'll make one for all of the seasons. Actually, I've done a snowman. I forgot about that. So yeah, I have done some other ones. Gonna lay here on the grass. And then I'm going to Put a little teeny dot of hot glue just to make the bow lay exactly how I want it. I'm not the best bow maker, so I need to give myself any help I can get. I don't need to feel and then I'm going to trim the little tails on the bow because they were just a little too long. So there we go. And now I'm going to take some fall greenery and I'm just going to clip off a couple of, well, a leaf on it and then some of the little, um, I guess they're like berries, just whatever it is. Just want to add a little bit of, you know, greenery to this, but keeping with the fall theme. I love how these turned out. They're so cute. I could see this on a tear tray, on a shelf, on a riser, you know, wherever you want. I just think they're adorable and could not be easier, honestly. I do think you can definitely do this. This glass DIY, I've got this little candle holder from the Dollar Tree. You could put a tall candle in the top or in the bottom, you could put a wider candle. I'm not gonna use it that way. I'm gonna use the Twine and the Pumpkin Amaze Waverly chalk paint. I'm gonna paint the, the pumpkin all the way around this. When you hold it the way I'm holding it, it looks like a pumpkin. That's what made me want to do this. And then I also put some of that pumpkin across that top portion of the round little candle holder. It's so cute, but I did decide to take the maze and just kind of dry brush it on there to give it a little more like texture and dimension. I think that just adds a lot when you start doing that. It just gives it it's not so flat looking. I think you know what I mean. I love this community. I just wanted to tell you guys how much I love the comments. I love how you talk with each other. Please feel free. Reach out. This is such a wonderful community. I mean, we're just crafting besties. And I just think we should all be talking to each other. We all have so much in common. So thank you guys so much. I love you guys so much. I am going to take this twine and I'm going to start wrapping it around that little top portion. It's the perfect stem, right? It's almost like this was made to be a pumpkin, even though it wasn't. So I'm just going to keep gluing it all the way around till I get to the very top and then I'll even put some around that very rim of the top. Gonna stay. I also wanted to tell you, I love when you guys share tips and ideas. Oh, I love it so much because that means that you are inspired. It means you have something that we could all learn from. So be sure to read the other comments. You'll learn so much from people. It's amazing. I have learned so much from you wonderful besties of mine. So thank you for that so much. In this moment, gonna lay here on the grass. Now, once it's all done and glued on there, I'm going to take my scissors and just cut off that last little piece that's hanging there. And so, yeah, you would think this is done, but I've got a couple of leaves that I thought were just perfect for this. I took them off this fall pick and it just, because it's just a little glass pumpkin, I thought, I felt like it needed it. It just needed something extra. So cute. I know the projects are pretty like small in size in this particular video, but you know what? It's kind of nice to have some small things. I know we don't have a lot of space. So if, if you're like me and you live in a smaller place, I can't just make big things all the time because I have nowhere to put them. So having these smaller ones, it's great for the tiered trays and the risers and the shelves or just little accents here and there in the kitchen or wherever. So I hope that that helps some of you too that are dealing with smaller spaces. And so I don't make a lot of big signs because I have nowhere to put them. <laughs> anyway, I hope you like it. My friends, I want to invite you to come with me to a crafty cruise getaway with four other channels here from YouTube where you can enjoy beaches and sand and tons and tubs of crafting inspiration. This ship has so many amenities that you are going to just have a blast. Plus, you get to connect with other crafters. But here's the thing. Space is very limited. So make sure you go to craftycruisegetaway.com to get all the information that you need. Everything is linked down below in the description box. I have a little like 
jar canister that I got from Ikea. It was a set of, I think, three or four cutest little canisters, and they were really good price. I can't remember, but it was good. I have some yarn from the Dollar Tree in that orange, and then some burlap from the Dollar Tree. This is so easy. I'm gonna start with some hot glue and I am literally gonna start wrapping that yarn all the way around. You definitely need to keep using glue every so often because it's a curved little jar and it wants to like bunch up and it did even with me using glue so just keep that in mind i didn't mind if it looked a little messy and at the end where i just went all the way around in different places to fill in any gaps so it's not like a perfect wrap if you will i am totally fine with that see how you can just see some of their some of the wrap is all over but i was good with that and take some twine and i'm just going to make kind of like where those little indents would be on a pumpkin i'm just going to glue that twine right on there kind of in a curve and i'll do the same thing the other side and i'll do a couple of those until i think it looks more like a pumpkin i'll do that on the front and on the back um, one side definitely looked better than the other because of the glue it's so hard with hot glue not to get little glue clumps in the yarn so i guess fabric tack glue might have been a better choice for this but i just already had the glue gun out and i didn't even think about it do whatever you like to do though and so i'm just going to finish that off and i've got that burlap and i'm going to start hot gluing the burlap all the way around that edge of the top of the jar. And we're gonna make the stem with this. So it's gonna look too big at first, but you'll see what I'm gonna do. So once I have it all glued on there, I will cut off the excess and I'm just gonna kind of twist and turn it so I can make it as tight as possible. And then I will hot glue some of it down before I cut it so it doesn't unravel. And then I'll bend it inside of itself and just attach it even more with the glue. So it's just kind of playing with it, getting it the way you like. Once I have it more or less the way I like, I'm gonna take a little piece of twine and just tie around kind of the top part of this little stem because that makes it even narrower and I just think that makes it look more like a little pumpkin stem. I mean it's pretty thick but you know what it was just for fun and again this could go on a tier tray, riser, shelf, wherever you want. It's just adorable. Now I felt like this one needed some leaves on it because it's just something about it so i got a couple leaves off of a pick that i had left over and i or actually i only used one leaf on this one and i just hot glued it down and i think this one is adorable i love it it's so cute and it's just so fall looking so i hope you like it and i hope you'll consider making something like this Thank you for watching. You are truly a blessing to me. Let me know which one was your favorite today. Don't forget to check out the link for the website about the Crafty Cruise Getaway. It's down in my description box below. I know you will have so much fun and I really hope you will check it out and consider going. I've got another video on the screen that I think you'll really like. So if you click on it, I will see you there. Bye.